Now before the next step, you're going to want the background to dry a little bit. So I've given it some dry time. What you could do to really optimize your time is maybe set this one aside to dry, but then start another one. While you're working on that one, then you switch back to the first one. You can draw on top of it, and then your other one's drying, so you can actually do another one later. So what I'm doing is that I've looked at some of these images. If you need to go back to the page that shows the different images of the koi fish, then you can certainly go back to that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sketch that on there. But then we're going to be using that brush painting technique later where we sort of minimize our brush strokes for the sumi-e technique. I can see that that's still a little wet, so I'm going to be careful with that spot. So here's my koi fish's body. Some of them almost look like catfish and have whiskers. I kind of like that effect, so I'm going to put that on mine. So, I like the effect of the fins that some of them have. So I'm going to add that. And if you draw this smaller, and you look at it and you think, well, gosh, there's, there's more room I can do on there, then I would go ahead and add in another one. This one, their tail fins are going to go off the page there. And the fin on this back, I got to be careful about this wet spot on the paper. Alright, so this is ready for me to paint.